Gina Batty runs a successful LGBT plus consultancy and training company. This is Gina Batty. Let's just want us to look at a lady called Gina Batty. She's an LGBT consultant. Let's see what she has to say about it. We don't need to give Father Christmas a gender neutral name. Should skirts be banned in school? The BBC asked me to comment. Gina Batty, good morning. You've been in here a few times, haven't you? I have. Feels like my second home, is actually, it? <laughs> <in the> <laughs> Welcome back to BBC Radio Lisa. She's an author, a motivational speaker. She does media work. Wow, I could just sit and listen to you all night, Gina. <laughs> There's something going on underneath the surface that people aren't saying. Am I right in thinking that you were the first primetime actress to ever do that? Yes. To ever actually come out in that way? In the middle of your acting career as well? <laughs> yes, yes, and my directing career. That's a great question. It has kept me safe. It has spared me of very dangerous circumstances. It has saved my life, not once, but three times. Wow. We're going to go raw and real. Well, I'm still reinventing myself. I mean, I reinvented myself when I went from the poverty victimhood mentality and decided to be an author. And then I had to reinvent myself to become a speaker because I didn't want to speak. I was shy. I was backward. I was reluctant. I don't believe that. <laughs> I want to finish on the biggest question that I could ever ask you in the world. This is the truth about coming out. Behind the scenes, warts and all, let's look at the truth behind coming out. Go grab yourself a cuppa and get yourself comfy. In this video, I'm going to hone in on Saran Jones and Anne Liston, her characterization and her relationships with women. And yes, I'm going to talk about intimacy too. Whilst homophobia, biphobia, transphobia and interphobia are rife within the LGBT community, religion and sexuality are a hotly debated topic, the erasure of LGBT people of colour exists and LGBT youth homelessness is still an issue, there is so much work to be done. We need to unite the LGBT community and drive international social change. You know the acronym LGB, right? The L, the G and the B, they so easily roll off the tongue in this commonly used acronym that you would think bisexual people would have the same level of acceptance as lesbian and gay people. Well, you'd be wrong. Of all the UK's homeless youth, one quarter are LGBT. That's around 11,250 LGBT young people on the streets. We live in a heteronormative world where we're taught that to be heterosexual and cisgender is the norm and anything outside of that is not accepted. My life's work is to ensure the LGBT community are able to be their authentic self at home, at work and in their communities. I believe changing attitudes and behaviour is fundamental to achieving that. The media has a big role to play here. As you know, there is very little LGBT representation in the media. And with what is out there, I want to make sure it is a true representation of LGBT life. I'm a huge advocate and influencer in the authentic representation of LGBTQ in the media. But listen, you know that we're all in this together, right? Everyone deserves the right to feel a sense of belonging and acceptance, whether at home, at work, or in their community. Together, we can unite the LGBT community and normalise LGBTQ life. The question is, are you going to watch on the sidelines or are you going to be part of that change?